All right, so being here today at Applied, it's just been a phenomenal experience. I was here in 2019 at the first quantum workshop and of course, just watching the field progress, watching how there's so much more engagement and really understanding the role of kind of bringing together the semiconductor as well as the quantum piece has just been great. So my favorite thing about this workshop has been that people now get it, that these two things have to come together. It's a resonance and working together is the way to go. So how will quantum transform the world is a question I get a lot. And I'll give you two answers. First is the very optimistic answer. You know, we'll be able to discover new materials, we'll be able to think about new catalysts, new pharmaceuticals, optimization problems. And I want to say we will be able to do all of these right away. Okay, that was answer one. But really what we're looking at is this gradual path towards combining both classical and quantum computing to get to a point where we can predict things better, where we can understand the fundamentals of nature, we'll understand materials and dynamics better, and that of course will open up other innovations. And that's just the compute piece of it. There's a networking piece, we've all talked about how you know, secure communication is something that is a highly desired outcome. Quantum technologies promise that, and there are ways we can get there, both in the near term and in the long term. And then there's quantum sensing, which I want to have a chance to talk about here today. So a lot that it, you know we, we're really seeing in, in quantum for future um, and, and a, a nice curve towards that, that success. Right, so the challenges. Well, I'll start with the challenges that I think we are addressing in this workshop. We've all recognized that the path to scale is something we need to find. And it's not just for superconducting qubits or photonic qubits or neutral atom, trapped ion, but all of these have certain pieces that will be common. There are certain elements of getting to scale that will be common across all of these technologies. And, and that's scaling is a challenge that's been recognized. And I think we also have a path to, to get through some of these scaling challenges. I'd say the second challenge that we haven't been able to address fully as a community, of course, is how do we keep the community outside of quantum engaged while we address the first challenge? And I think that's something that, that perhaps we'll get a chance to discuss at the reception tonight. Okay, lots of answers to this, but I'll, I'll give you the short version. Applied Materials has a key role to play in scaling quantum technologies. And that's the role as the tool maker, role as the company that can do atomic scale engineering at this industrial scale, right? Hearing some of the numbers from Om Nalamasu today, I felt like, wow, you can do that precision over something that's the size of a garage door? That is just amazing to me. So I think the path to scale goes through working with Applied. Mm -hmm.